Hey YouTube, so I wanted to go over how I organize my binders because someone had a question about it. I guess I didn't go into enough detail in my other video. So I use these clear binders like I said. I got a pack of six at Target. So what I'll do is that I'll use these little pockets. It looks like that. So I'll put the syllabus right in the front so that I can identify it right away. At one point or another, I'll sometimes have two binders going on at the same time or just one. So usually my classes break down Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday. So I'll have a Monday, Wednesday binder and a Tuesday, Thursday one. And these are what mine look like. I have two right now. So this is my biology. And then I have biology in the back as well. But these are biology um, labs. Whereas here's where my biology notes go. So the reason why I only have biology is because all I have is biology all day that day, um, Monday, Wednesday. So this is the one that I would have for that. And then for the other days, I have four classes back to back. But like I said, I, I do it the same way, but I have dividers for this one. So the way that I organize my history classes, I'm really um, strict about my history classes since that's my major, so I really, really care and I want to make sure that everything is in order and it's intact the way I need it to be. So I'll have the syllabus in the front to identify it. Then when I open it, I'll have the outline of that day. And then right behind it, I'll have any primary sources that I'm going to be reading or any projects that go with that time period. So then if I turn the pages, you'll see that I have another outline. And then I actually have a project, a writing assignment that goes with that. And then the notes. So that's how I um, organize that. And then once I get a project back and it has to do with that time period, I hole punch it and put it back right in the back. So that everything for that one sliver of history is going to stay all together. And um, if I have to look for it, it's going to be right there, everything together, and I don't have to worry about it. Then if it starts to get heavy, I'll take out sections at a time and staple it together. So you'll have the outline, you'll have the primary source, and the project. If I had one for that section, I'll staple it together and I'll put it away. And like I said, I usually keep them for at least until the end of the semester. You never know when something can go wrong if, or if something got graded but didn't get logged into your teacher's um, grade book. So you just want to make sure you keep everything, um, at least for a semester. Usually if it's history, I keep it forever. Um, I've just been keeping them so far. I really like them. And that some of the primary sources are really good, so I just hold on to them. So then for my second history class that day, then I have this little tab, and I have the, the syllabus sheet in there. And then if I flip it, then that's my first writing assignment for that. So that's how I have that organized. And then for my geology class, it's the same thing. Here are my geology syllabus. Then I have class notes. And then I have worksheets. So these actually the teacher um, got for us and she stapled them together and they're whole punched so I just stuck them in my binder just again to make sure that everything stays together and I don't have to be ruffling through things or lose them. And then the class that I have after that, I have a little tab separating it. And then this is for my English class. And then I have my first little thing back from English. And, um, yeah, that's kind of how I keep things organized. Like I said, I keep everything together, everything that goes with one project or one time period, I keep together. And then when it comes time for the midterm, then I separate that also. I make sure that my midterm stuff and my final stuff near the end of the semester isn't mixed together unless, of course, the test is going to be comprehensive, then you want everything to stay in your binder and you want everything at hand for um, the time when you have to study. So I hope that was detailed enough for whoever had questions. And um, I'll go over note-taking again really briefly in my next video. But thanks for watching. Bye.